Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Luigi's Mansion. We have just got a key to go into another area, but first Egad has given us a message on our Game Boy Horror. He says there's a stronger presence lurking in these next rooms. It's basically just telling us hey, there's going to be bosses and shit, but I already told you that at the, or at the end of the last episode. I'm not going to be showing these key cutscenes every single time, it's just like, set the atmosphere, ooh. Because Luigi's just like, man, what if there's ghosts behind this room? That's crazy. There's always ghosts behind these rooms. Alright, so don't open that door. That's actually a booby trap. Because there's no door on the other side. See, there's there's nothing. But yeah, there's bosses that look like humans. Let me kill that book before I guess I just ran into that feather. But yeah, they're just humans. Oh, hey, hey, hey. So this guy, he'll yawn eventually. Or do I have to like kill all the books first? I don't know. But soon he will yawn. Or do I have to make noises? I know he yawns after a while. There you go. Let's see if I can do this in one take, like last time. But yeah, the bosses will drop poison mushrooms, and if they hit you, you lose the ghost. And I got him on the first try again, so everything is good. Oh, fuck. And then they'll drop pearls, too. And see, the mushroom hit me, so I'm tiny. I'm a small boy. And uh, don't forget to check the room for money. I never really got to doing that, now did I? So yeah, there's books on the wall you can read, they're not super fascinating, so we're going to skip reading those. I don't know if they're actually open just yet, or if I have to wait until later. But here's the next room, another boss. So here is, I don't know her name, I don't know like any of the ghost's names. But she's just combing her hair, you know, the master bedroom. I didn't see what the other room was. It was just like a reading room. Oh, fuck. Alright, you can't use your vacuum when you're small. Just a heads up on that. But basically, the way to activate this boss, if I can get big, is to pull open the curtain. And there's just a toad hanging out out there, but you know, such a draft. What the fuck? I didn't realize if I had to hold on to it or not. Fuck! Okay, god, my light needs to not be... doing that. I don't like how the C-stick is functioning in this game, so let me move the light down. There we go. Hopefully she won't drop any mushrooms on me while I'm stuck in the corner here. <laughs> I like how Luigi's just going, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah! Easy. So yeah, the pearls are going to be worth a lot of money, so make sure you get as many of those as you can. You get them from bosses, and the more time you're sucking onto a boss, like they'll, they they first drop small pearls, but slowly they'll start dropping bigger pearls. Um, if you can get them, like sucked into the go into the vacuum for like 30 or 50 points of damage or something. Just some f facts for you. But there's a baby in this room. A ghost baby? Who's killing babies out here? Why is everyone dead? Or are they born ghosts? I don't really know. The, the lore is kind of fucked out here. Hold on. Just a floating baby over the crib. Get the exorcist here. But yeah, just make a bunch of ruckus with the rocking horse here. And then baby Chauncey, that's like the only ghost whose name I remember. Chauncey's gonna be like, Man, you wanna play, huh? So you gotta suck the ball. I can suck the fucking ball. And then the second you let go, it will launch the ball, so uh, make sure you're pointed at the baby. Ow, you gave me an owie! I hate grown ups! Why do you gotta be bigger? Small. Oh man. T pose. He's like, that's it. We're big babies now. Not that this was the purpose, but just saying his. All of his body parts are larger, so, uh, well. Without, without saying anything more, you know exactly what I'm saying, even though this is a kids-rated show. 
but I say fuck all the time, so hey. Man, Chauncey's just going in on those screams. My ears are gonna die. So this is a very easy boss for the first main boss. There's four chapters or sections in this game. Um, and it's kind of based on like the floors of the house, so... This first area, like just like the left of the, the entrance, that is one area, like one chapter you could call it. And then um, the main floor will be the next chapter. And then I think the top floor is another chapter, and then the basement is another chapter. And then um, these bosses, you can't actually like suck onto them for like all 100 health points in one run. Um, there are three phases, so I think if I can get Chauncey in three sucks, I get a gold rank. The the ranks that I'm talking about will make sense once we beat this boss, because they'll actually tell us what our ranks are. Oh fuck! Jeez, went until the last second to go. And then more balls. The balls are missing. Alright, so here's just the ball we gotta use. Bop. It's so weird that like you don't have to like shine the light. Even though the heart is exposed after all. Chauncey's now at 35 health. And we're on the last phase here, which is still a really easy phase. He's just gonna go in squares. I originally thought he would follow you or like home into what your location is but that'd be pretty annoying I guess for a, a boss that you face in the first 20 minutes of the game and then this one you can just stay in the middle for got that down to a science and now he's gonna drop some balls on your boy again okay oh. get the ball Alright, let's do this. There you go, I believe that should be a gold rank, it only took three sucks. This is the easiest part of the game after all, the bosses will become much more difficult later on. And I'm not sure if you have to beat Chauncey to do it, but there's a glitch in this room, I think it has to do with the chest or the door. But you can somehow get on, like clip onto the ceiling, or like go upside down or some weird shit. And there's like glitches you can use, use like by being on the ceiling that lets you get ex like straight to the final boss area, which is fucking crazy. I would totally recommend watching that, um, even if you skip this video right now. <laughs> but it's just such a crazy glitch that you just get to the end of the game. It's, it's fucking weird, and it doesn't make sense because you're going on the ceiling. There's like two areas in the game where you actually do go on the ceiling of a room, but. I don't know, man. It's just like, how do you activate that? I haven't seen that glitch for a couple of years, so I might be wrong about some details. But yeah, once we beat like a super boss ghost, then we get to watch this cutscene where Luigi's just dumbfounded. He's like, hey, yeah, I caught those. Hey. His lips are just like, they make him look stupid. Oh, wait a minute. Don't take that into any other direction. When I say his lips are like that, because... I don't know, I... I don't want to explain it, but then that'll make me sound even worse if I do explain it, so just to make your own... ...opinions. <laughs> hmm! We managed to turn the ghost into paintings. So yeah, if you read the EGAD stuff when we were on the mansion, he's just like, all my paintings have left, or whatever. So basically, the, the paintings become ghosts. I don't exactly understand how the lore goes, but it's it works enough, I suppose. Because in other games, it would just be like, oh, you unlocked a picture of this ghost. Man, we are rich. We got three million gold. And this one a bit quicker than last time, so there's still time in the episode. But I have a general sense of what to do now. Because I think I was like stuck a little bit uh, for my last failed session with all the audio pauses so yeah we got that key from Chauncey so we can uh, remove the the spiky vines I don't know if those are vines or not but break the seal Mario. 
I guess on a 3DS version, they don't have those. I don't quite understand. They don't have, like, particle effects either. So, that's probably a con, people would say. But it's not, a like, a big deal. It's just like, oh, that's a thing that just showed up. Like, I, I guess there's a different trigger that happens when you check furniture and stuff. I believe the only room we can go to is a bathroom. And there's ghost dropping bombs that just blow up in the house. It's a terror attack going on here. Ah, that's not fun for me, but hey. Just go in here. We will get a key somewhere. Somewhere in the bathroom. Oh, there's a spooky ghost. And then Egad will probably give a tutorial or something. I swear he does. Or at least he did on the last session. He's like, man, those ghosts will wrap their arms around you. Ooh. Yeah, here we go. He's gonna tell you exactly what I told you, except a little... <laughs> My boy! So grab that bitch up top. Perfect. So that's gonna open up the ballroom, which is like the only room I remember the name for before even going into the room. And this boss is interesting just because it's two bosses, but it's only one boss, so I don't understand the logic behind that. But just open up the door and we'll we'll get it over with. So yeah, there's all these shy guy ghosts around here. And you gotta suck their masks off. And then you can uh, suck them up. And they're just having a, the time of their life. Oh man, I got forked. I'm glad they have like pitchforks, but they're only, or tridents or whatever, but they only have two points. There's probably like an actual name for those types of pitchforks. But it's just a, a neat little design that they added. Let me get those hearts. They'll come in handy. Like I said, you'll lose health much quicker in this game. And when you get down to like 30 health, you'll actually be like, Ooh, I'm gonna die, possibly. Especially with some of the bosses later on. Damn, this guy is going in on me. He said, pull up, I'm coming. And I believe the boss should be open up now. Or the bosses. And for them, um, you have to wait until they bow to each other before you can suck them. Right? I had to shine my light on them. Or do I have to try sucking them? Here we go. Alright, so let's see if I can get this all in one go. No mushrooms today. Oh god, get out of there. <laughs> hey, it works. <laughs> Man, I'm doing flawless in this game. I am a legend. Oh, fuck. The physics are fucking over. Alright, so we're gonna open this box, and then that will be it for this episode of Let's Play Luigi's Mansion. I hope you all enjoyed it. Feel free to leave a like as well if the channel grow. You can subscribe to get updates on my uploads as soon as they happen. But until then, I will see you all next time.